Good afternoon. I'm your host and teacher, Mike Fossatopa. Welcome to another segment of Plains Indian Sign Language. And uh, today we're going to go, we're going to kind of move kind of slow. want to make sure that everybody that's viewing uh, catches this because uh, I was listening to uh, one uh, sign language guy that said they was learning about uh, 30 words in three days. So that's so if we can do this, if we can grasp this, um, we can start flowing in it and be able to communicate with one another. Uh, the title of uh, this segment is Talking with Hands. So that would be easy to look back to which one that we wanna, wanna watch in review. So this is the, the latest one here. Um, What I know on this subject of Plains Indian Sign Language comes from my, my father's side. And it was common for them to, to talk with their hands. And the way we would say that was like this, or that word carries out, or this, the hands. So there's three ways it can be said among other tribal nations is the way they use it. So we just move with those signs and then sometimes we can we can add gestures to it uh, when we're speaking um, of, of facial expressions, um, just like two opposite forces clashing together. When a person uh, has trouble understanding something, uh, they call it, a long time ago they would say button heads, but it also it means that you know I'm not not grasping it. So uh, <clears throat> clarity is the best thing to, to do this, where it's simple. That's the way I, I like to do it. Um, Dad uh, used uh, a little bit of sign language uh, in everything that he that he did, explaining artwork, uh, when he would make something, uh, when he would sing. You know, he could control the drum with, with sign language for other singers. They would know when to, when to come in, uh, you know, to sing, sing louder, you know, pick it up, or that, that drum beat. He could, he could direct them with, with his hand. So there's many ways that we can use it, sign language, in today's times. Uh, and explaining things even to our young young people. Now, um, sign language, um, the way it's uh, a sign for sign language is Native American uh, talking with the hands. So I know we did this here for Native American but also the usage of the hand. You know, we're gonna be grabbing our hand, you know, saying this is gonna, gonna talk. All right. Um, in my travels recently, everybody's uh, asking me about sign language because of this program that's being viewed and they want me to travel there to, to talk sign language. So travel is this. So we're going to travel somewhere, whether it's a long ways or maybe short, short trip. Now, <clears throat> knowledge and learning, uh, there's different ways uh, to express in sign language how to say, uh, this is I know uh, and sometimes I um, have trouble with certain words where I can say, I don't know. I have to ask around, hey, how would you say this? And there's not hardly any speakers, so you have to kind of like kind of wing it until eventually you'll meet somebody or talk to somebody or see somebody that's using it. And I say, hey, we used to do it this way. And then some of them are just like, oh. We just say it this way, but I know it's different, but that's all we know. 
<clears throat> so we're gonna move, start moving slow and just watch the hands. I want you to hear, I want you to see, and then apply. Um, you want to take a paper, that's how I make a paper, and you write these down because learning these words, you need to have a list of what you can sign. See, and it keeps it kind of formal and it also keeps it organized. So, uh, now, sign language. is powerful when we're when we're ready everybody to start speaking with their hands then we um, uh, will know and to, to, to do just like that um, and then we keep it here because Sign language, <clears throat> again, is communication. It's never to, to replace anything. It's not just for the deaf. It's for, it was used back in a time to where different uh, tribal nations spoke their language and they couldn't communicate. But by using their hands, they could, they could understand and be able to, to converse and that, tell stories, relate things, pass things down because a lot of things wasn't written. So that sign language was a means in a way that they had uh, within a cultural uh, um, gathering, you know, how they would bring up the child. I can't, can't see my hands on it. You know, the small children, like it, if it's a boy, it would be man, but that referred to as a child. If it was a female, go here, so young boys, young girls would pick this up. Even small children can, can learn this. I was talking to my little grandson using sign language. And he was really watching my hands. He sat there and just look at it. And then he'd look at his hands. I thought, oh, he's, he's catching on. So uh, here, right here, uh, are uh, some some words can be used in sign language um, because it's different than English. Indian words sometimes can't be uh, uh, conveyed in English terms. It, it loses it loses something because of culture. Same way with these signs. Sometimes if we see one word and one sign, it can still be used the same. So we say, well, don't that mean this? Well, you'll see similarities, and I'm going to show you a few uh, right now. This is the sign for work. Work. Okay. Uh, this um, is a sign for make or made. And it goes like this and kind of kind of bump those fists together. That's uh, I made this, you know, um, or um, I'm gonna um, make fry bread. <laughs> All right, then, then um, a similar sign, so this was make or made, this one right here is uh, to hold, to hold, hold it. Um, and then for an elder, you could take, um, let's see, older people would walk with, with a cane or a staff. So you would add a motion to that referring to an elderly man or an elderly grandmother. All right.
So those were two where you see those that sign like that. Make, hold, elder. All right, now, <clears throat> to meet, like to have a meeting, it's this. Let people come together and meet. So see, here it is again. Um, an invitation would be come all or on can be up or down all come all stand walk over here we're going to meet So that's that's one way we could we could use it. Now, um, the word like. Uh, if someone likes something, well, like this, the arms cross. Like when something uh, that you you like from the heart, do it like this, like you grab it. that it's good now to catch something maybe a, maybe it's an idea maybe it's a ball okay so how would we do that um, in Native American culture and, and way of life we always think before we speak so everything starts with that thought with that idea so if we were trying to catch uh, a, a vision to understand something, um, we would go like, uh, let's say, catch a dream. If we was talking to somebody to motivate them, uh, to, to dream, that's a dream, okay? Where prayer goes like that. And, and that sign also for, for, for holy. Now, so a dream, so let's say I was sleeping and I had a dream and I seen my friend in that dream. See, that's how it could be used like this. Um, with catching something, it's like you, you hear something or you see something, you go, ah, yeah, grab that. That's mine, see? That's, that's like knowledge. When you receive something and you know something, then that becomes power, empowerment. Now, if I was playing with the kids and I said, I'm going to throw this to you, you catch it. Good. So see, there's two applications right there. So again, uh, and now a vision, a vision a lot of times is uh, you don't have to be asleep or your, your eyes closed. You see something. Uh, you can see whatever was blocking your eyes before, now they're open. And you see See things. Uh, that's things that's related to, to, to culture again. Now, let's see. Now, um, to keep something, let's say that cane I had over there like that. Uh, let's say I'm not going to give that, that cane. I'm going I'm to keep it. Okay? Why? This means own. I own that, that cane or that staff, that's mine. So um, keeping something, uh, holding something is a little bit different than grasping it or uh, taking it, you know, like that. 
we, we say, why? Right there. That's that's that. And then it gets to be to the to the part of, of ownership. You go like that. That was mine. Whose is this? That's mine. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, now, to give uh, can be direct. Let me go from the side. I give. I give this to you. Or if I want to say, I give. You could almost say, I give it all. <laughs> um, Take is like this almost like I see my, my pen here. I, I take it. Well, in sign language, it's like we was grabbing at it, pulling it up. I take that. <clears throat> Let's say we want to buy something. This is buy. Okay. I want to buy. You can make that, that hand like that. It's like if you had money in it. That means striking that hand means to buy. Now the word with um, Sometimes the hands, uh, the movement of it makes a difference. Let's say we, I said with. I'm going to go with you. Uh, with can be um, said like two different ways. Um, with can be like this, or it can be like this. Palm, your finger inside, and you go like that. Let me explain that here. Um, and then I showed earlier all. All. Use two hands. All. Oh, that's this meaning like everybody. A lot of uh, gesture can be added in the one doing the sign, whether he wants to be, you know, big in his movements, or if he wants, to, you know, make it make it smaller, make it more more direct, more eye contact. He would, he would use those expressions. Um, in form, when we're learning something, when we're making something, uh, the knowledge that we receive uh, is we use this sign language here. And that means in form. Almost looks like you're doing drum, drumming. <laughs> I want to inform you see when you get informed that in that direction then you know see that's how we would apply that now truth uh when we're when we're speaking we want to to make sure that what we're saying we're not you know saying in, in fun and laughter uh we want those words to be straight. So we go like that. These words that I'm, I'm saying are truth. It's like that. Now, we're looking at, uh, let's say, the season that we're in right now. I just thought I'd throw this in here today. Um, see if I can get this done in that little time. Uh, Halloween time. 
Um, if you would say Halloween, as far as the month, uh, sometimes we would do, you know, maybe the, the uh, sunrises, the days. Maybe you might want to count on your hand. Uh, seven days in a week uh, times four. Um, so you would get around um, the 31st, Halloween. Kids um, having fun. Um, Candy, that was a new word that I was looking at how to do in sign language, something sweet. So therefore, you would put, uh, you, would, you would put on like, I could taste, like it tastes good. Like that, but that could, it could uh, apply to anything, even if it was meat or potatoes or something like that. But that, the sweet taste, sometimes they, they do that because there's times even using colors uh, back in the old days, if they wanted to use the word white, they would touch their teeth, white teeth. Uh, hair, dark, you would like this, or material, things like that. So anyway, get back to this right here, is uh, Halloween would be, uh, uh, let's say a lot of times, uh, kids get frightened. This is the word frightened. That means almost like getting stopped in your track. You kind of going, going back like, come on, no. Um, this way right here is, is, is bad, bad. Um, so we always try to get the fear out. Um, because fear is always like re reframing, you know, brushing it, brushing away. Um, and you separate yourself from it. Uh, I always say at that time, be ready. This means ready. I'm ready. What? Run. <laughs> so that's a little fun part of, of what. Uh, we can do with sign language, explain it. You know, you could, you know, use maybe facial expressions, you know, uh, wide, eyes wide open, um, movements, maybe even animals. Let's say uh, a, a bear, um, sharp teeth, um, maybe a wolf. Sign language for dog is... Uh, because they're small, they always go by like that. A long time, I always thought the finger was out representing a, a dog's tail, and you know, I'm going by. Uh, but I learned that uh, for dog, it was this. Um, now, let's see. Um, I hear or back here, I heard. That's how we would do heard, something in the past, the past tense of it, I heard. Um, a bird is this. Uh, let's say you heard an owl. Little short B. Um, then you could do, I got frightened. You chased it off. Um, say somebody asked you, um, what? Was it? Let's say it was a big bird, and it was it was black. Could have been a crow. Um, now, 
these are some of the, the signs that I wanted to, to, to put in this installment. And if we we'll, um, want to go back a little ways, I don't know how much time we, what we got, four minutes? Four minutes, we'll go back and we will review. Talking with hands. Native American way. Organize work. We can learn, be informed. How to create words through the sign language. Travel. Distance. Here. There. Over, over there. That over there is, is almost like uh, when you cross over something, maybe a road, maybe a, um, maybe a creek, cross over. <clears throat> and then to, to um, be ready, it's like I follow and say, so we're getting ready, get ready, we're going to get started. Make, hold, elder, meet, like, catch, vision, uh, Dream, big, keep, own, give, take, or receive, buy, With all inform truth, my speak is truth and no. Want to thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed language and sign language. What do